Hi everyone. Today I'm targeting level four and the learning intention is how to write money as a decimal and how to relate this to a place value chart. The student's prior knowledge has been dealing with money in small collections and today we're going to be dealing with real money, looking at that as decimals and also in the place value chart. Hi Helen. Hi. <laughs> so let's have a look at the real money that we have here. Can you show me 30 cents? 10, 20, 30. Fantastic. Can you show me 40 cents? 40. What did you do there? I counted on. That's great. Can you show me 60 cents? 40, 50, 60. That's fantastic, Helen. So what you're showing me there is that the money that you have is made up of 60 cents. So how can we write that in our place value chart? Fantastic, Helen. So what does this mean? Can you explain? It means that there are zero ones, six tens, zero hundreds, or 60 hundreds, which equals to 60 cents, and as a decimal equals to 0 0.60. Fantastic, thank you, Helen. That's right, because there's zero ones, because it's actually less than, less than one, or less than a dollar in this case. So we put a zero in there, and that becomes a placeholder. Then in the tenths, we have six, which is six out of 10 which becomes 60 cents because there's zero hundreds. Now you'll notice the decimal point always stays the same. And we'll talk about that in the next one when we talk about a dollar. Okay, so now let's look at another amount with real money. Show me one dollar and what it's made up of in cents. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a dollar. Fantastic. A dollar. And what's that equal to? A dollar. That's great. Okay. So tell me what you just did. I counted 10 groups of 10 pieces to make up one dollar. All right. That's great. Okay. So now that we know that one dollar is made up of 10 10 cent pieces, Um, how would you write that in the place value chart? Okay, Helen. So how would you write one dollar as a dollar and as a decimal in the place value chart? So one ones and zero ten and zero hundred. Okay. So tell me why. Uh, a dollar is equal to one whole, and there's zero tenths and zero hundreds which equals one dollar or as a decimal one and got one point zero zero yeah okay thanks Helen that's great okay Helen so show me what a dollar ten then would look like this is a dollar dollar ten how else could we make up that combination well, this is a dollar two, so we can just move the ten cents over. So fantastic. So what you actually did there was count it on. Yes, I did. Okay, and added another ten cents, which makes a dollar ten. Yep. So let's look at how we can relate this to the place value chart. Okay, we also looked in money amounts what made up a dollar ten before. So could you just write that in the place value chart as well, please? Okay, fantastic. So, can you tell me why you wrote it like that? Well, there is also one hole in one dollar, and it will be one tenth and zero hundredths, which is a dollar ten, and as a decimal, it will be one point one zero. That's fantastic. Thanks so much for that, Helen. So we've learned today about money and place value and how money is a decimal system.